Oh, shit. In my last video, we tested a metallic epoxy floor DIY kit to see just how DIY friendly it really was. And this is the breakdown of the major fail we had. So check that video out to see what it really looks like when you have no experience from start to finish and to see how we fixed this mistake. A link will be at the end of this video and in the description. So let's break down this costly fail and go back to the very moment when this mistake was made. At the end of this video, we'll talk in a little more detail about what happened, but basically we made a last minute call and mixed the accent colors a bit too soon. Getting everything ready and coordinating the mixing and the pouring, it's probably the most difficult part. It's more difficult than putting the floor on. There's a lot of things to consider and you've got a short amount of time to do it. Jason and I both have a ton of experience in about every construction trade, but not epoxy and that showed. Now I've coated hundreds of hardwood floors with a T-bar, which is basically a, a padded squeegee. So I was hoping that this skill might translate. Almost immediately I realized it didn't. If anything, it probably actually hurt me. I instinctively avoided you know, stepping on the epoxy as if I were coating a hardwood floor. The way it spreads is pretty unique. And at the beginning, it seems like there's no way you're gonna have enough and it's gonna dry before you even get close to being done. So if you're doing this for the first time, be prepared that the way it looks and the ease of spreading that everyone demonstrates, it doesn't exist when it's the first time you've done it. It's stuff pulls, it's thick, it somehow spreads far beyond what it looks like it should be able to spread. So just be patient, be prepared for the panic. It's unavoidable, I think. But once you get about halfway done, you start to realize how it works and then you start to be a little more confident. We probably should have practiced with the spike shoes. I've, I've never worn them before and never had to. Um, and to make it worse, they started falling apart and dropping nuts all over the floor. So that just added to the chaos, to the panic in my mind. It took us a little bit to figure out even what was happening and where these nuts were coming from. Now, before we continue, I, I want to defend myself a little bit here. Um, all the smiling and, and stuff I do towards Jason when this tragedy is happening, it can be taken the wrong way. But you should just know that I'm a, I'm a very optimistic person, probably, you know, to a fault. So when things are wrong, you know, I'm, I'm ready to look on the bright side almost instantly. And to be fair, Jason has a lot more at stake than I do here. He's trying to get this space ready for his wife. It's going to be her salon. So here I am reacting to the news that everything we've been doing has basically failed. But after a brief, you know, walk over to this corner, I'm ready to laugh about it. But then I realize that, you know, Jason isn't there yet. So because my positive attitude, you know, could be misunderstood, you know, I, I quickly hide it from him. But I still want him to feel better and, and get to the laugh about it point. So I spend the next several minutes telling him all of the reasons why it's not actually a bad thing and it could be a positive thing. A happy little clown. And then I remember how much he loves to dance. So I turn on his favorite song and his dancing lights, and I just let him dance it out for a while. All right. So let's, let's 
talk about what happened. I'm ready. <laughs> you want to start from the beginning? <laughs> um, all the way from the beginning. Well, there we were. <laughs> um, scrambling to get everything together. And, you know, being our first time, you, know, you watch a lot of videos. We take all the advice we can. One of the things that we love about Spartan is that they take the time to, to talk to you, to teach you. Uh, Brian was always on the phone, willing to answer any questions and guide me through stuff. Um, but <laughs> there's this thing called compounding heat that <laughs> we, we uh, didn't consider. Yes. And it, it's, it ended up being about a, a $900 mistake, but it's fixable just by starting over. Um, what are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it sucks. Uh, luckily, our, our uh, base code, our, our main uh, base, la laid out nicely. And we did learn and, and get a little confidence from that that we can do this the <laughs> second time around. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you keep, we kept hearing, and, and something that kept standing out to me was that you have about a 45 minute working time with the material, so you don't need to stress out. Well, that's true when you're working with the material. Yeah. Uh, you can't leave it in the in the container like it's you got to mix it and you got to pour it yeah so we had uh we mixed all of our uh, our our main base our pearl and then right as we were done with that we mixed our highlights and started pouring our pearl on the floor and um i would say within about five minutes i, I mean you'll see in the video it's kind of you could tell it looks harder to spread than we both anticipated because it even the pearl had already set up it was still working, but we had let it sit maybe five minutes, max the pearl anyway. This stuff, you know, is, it was probably 10 minutes. And then, I mean, just, that's what we got. Yeah, and, and it then, was it was piping hot, almost smoking to the touch and solid as a rock in 10 minutes. So all of our highlights right here. <laughs> it will make a nice, uh, Nice wait for something, maybe. Yeah, a yeah, bookend. We, we've yeah. got to save it. But before we start this time, we're going to make sure that uh, apparently these spikes, they don't come pre tightened. So you need to go around and make sure you got your nuts tightened before you do anything like this. Always check your nuts. That's I just lost one That's right key. now. So we're sizing these up, checking our nuts, and we are going to be prepared this time. We're experienced epoxy guys now so we're not going to make the same beginner mistakes hopefully so let's let's see how it turns out we got our new stuff in the good thing about uh spartan was when it happened it was what like five or six in the evening on friday night and you called i mean he's he's an owner and he like one of yeah. the owners yeah Brian. and within five minutes he calls back from a boat fishing in the mangroves off the coast of florida just to, to help us out and let us let us know what we did wrong and he uh they're pretty quick about shipping another round out to us so i will say that's a positive thing but um we're gonna give it another go and try not to let that happen again which is luck 